Sup, everybody. Uh, what's up, everyone? Uh, my name's Dan. I do a thing called vlogging. I do this every single day. It's about my cancer. Let's give you a quick update of what's happening. This morning I had a shower and I found that my biopsy that I had the other day, uh, where that lump was, that lump's now growing back. That lump is probably about three centimeters and there's two more around it. So that adds to my known uh, tumor sites uh, that we've got probably about seven uh, so far that have grown in the space of time that this is all taking to resolve and talk to people and get actual um, medical input to get this all put to bed and keep me alive. Now at the moment my cancer is incurable, there is no way to cure this cancer unfortunately. Uh, there's loads of suggestions. Uh, go on down and look at Chris Beat's cancer. Okay, I've looked at Chris Beat's cancer, uh, very different type of cancer. I'm sorry, it probably won't work for me. Uh, there's lots of lovely stories on there of people beating stuff and things like that. Um, I know that I've been beating this for nearly three, three and a half years, uh, and in total probably beating this for about uh, four and a half, five years since it started growing originally. Uh, so I've been beating this for a very long time. Uh, it's come to a point now where we're at a critical point where I probably can't um, continue to beat it the way that I'm doing uh, normally. I'm not gonna tell anyone how I'm beating this cancer at the moment and stayed alive longer than anyone else with this type of cancer has. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you because it's not scientific fact and I don't know if it's true or not. Um, <coughs> I just know I have a very healthy, very balanced diet. I know I eat McDonald's and stuff like that, but I'm not going to deny myself pleasure uh, in the world. And that is a, is a crucial thing to explain to people. Yesterday I was feeling very, very unwell. The day before I was very unwell. Today I've woken up a bit more. I'm a bit more um, uh, fun, uh, a bit more silly. There's some video here actually that you can watch uh, of me being silly. Let's go. Clever and destructive. <laughs> that is what I am. <laughs> Clever and destructive. My name is Dan. <laughs> welcome to the Dan Thomas Musical. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the Dan. Yes, it's a good point. <laughs> welcome to the Dan Thomas Musical. La 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 you're not allowed to laugh. <laughs> These people, they don't want to be in the vlog, but they want to make me laugh whilst I do it. Bloody hell. La 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 Come on, join in. La 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 I feel a bit better today, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I'm vlogging with people sat next to me, so, you know, uh, why not? Um, They've all gone silent now, as if I'm going to say something <laughs> dramatic. I'm not going to say anything dramatic. I feel a bit better today, that's all. I'm just in a silly mood. Okay, that was silly. Uh, that, that was me being silly. So, like, I, I am silly. I'm having fun today. I've met friends, seen friends. Uh, lovely friends, friends of my mum's as well. Um, and they're lovely people. And the, these things spur me on. Now, they were talking about people that they know who are going through cancer and have gone through cancer and stuff that are... Uh, worryingly sick or have been worryingly sick in the past and I really want to get out there and start talking to people and finding out more about other people's cancer and how it affects people and stuff like that but I need to get better first so this whole hashtag don't give in don't give up is the whole point of this whole system of me trying to get this out into the world I won't give in and I won't give up I won't ever give in and I won't ever give up this is sometimes going to be sad and things that happen are going to be devastatingly horrible. Uh, you're going to see things like me go through mass surgery. And when I say mass surgery, it's going to be a lot of surgery that you will see me go through. It's not going to be nice for me. It's not going to be good for me. It's not going to necessarily prolong my life. We don't know uh, what's going to happen, but I'm going to go through with it anyway. Um, and at the end of the day, this whole thing is about me wanting to prolong my life, my life be... As, as long as possible because I want to help others now my cancer is very very aggressive it grows very very rapidly uh, just like I keep saying my following on here is uh, my following on here is, is amazing everyone who's donated towards my GoFundMe your funds uh, will help me so much in the research of this finding treatment options and getting treated for this because we, in the UK I could be refused 
by the NHS for certain treatment options um, because my cancer's grown so rapidly, grown so fast, and so many times it's come back. So this this is like a critical point for me. So I need to like kind of get to this. But I want to do this kind of social experiment today uh, and ask everyone if if you are willing to. Please um, share my YouTube channel with people. Please share my story with people. Uh, I've found that some people have actually done videos about me inspiring them, which has inspired me even more. And this smile on my face uh, is from me genuinely seeing that I've inspired other people. And it's beautiful. It's amazing. And it's just so nice to see that uh, those, those people are enjoying the content that I am putting out and they're understanding where I'm coming from and to all the people who think that I've um, done this for attention or uh, whatever you think I'm doing it for oh, I don't care really to be honest uh, I've put proof out there for people because I don't think it's fair that I am in this kind of situation and you can see that some days I'm up and then I'm down and I don't think it's fair for you to uh, think, well, what, why is this happening? Why is he in this situation? Why is he uh, able to be happy one day and then sad the next? And why does he continue to be happy even though he's got like pretty much terminal cancer and he potentially couldn't live that long or whatever? What have I got to be sad about, guys? What have I got to be sad about? My life is pretty flipping amazing regardless. Like, okay, I don't have much, but I have the love, support and everything of everyone that I need to love and support me and I've got my family I've got Claire uh, you all keep mentioning Claire and yes partner in crime whatever you want to call her you can call her whatever you like girlfriend boyfriend uh, what I don't know if you call her a boyfriend would you um, call her whatever you like uh, call her Claire ideally because that is her name you know just you know these people are here for me my family my little brother um, <clears throat> like my older brother even though he's in America um, and everything and you know my family are here for me supporting me my auntie my uncle my nans uh, my other uncle my cousins my cousins cousins uh, everyone supports me in what I'm doing and they're interested and like intrigued as to what I'm doing with my vlog and what's going on my, with my life and I'm intrigued by my own life now I'm, I'm inspired by myself. Is that, is that really up, up myself? I'm, I'm actually spurring myself on. I'm inspiring myself to do more with everything that I'm doing. And I, I just can't thank everyone enough. So if you are down with the cool kids and you know how to use Facebook, Twitter, find me uh, on Instagram, find me on Twitter, find me on Facebook or whatever, and just come and join in the conversation. Join our community. Join our beautiful community that's being built and please share my content please share this with the world because the only way that I'm going to get the right type of research done the right type type of like uh, treatment and stuff is if someone at some point notices this information and then maybe come comes forward the only reason I've got so far with what I'm trying to do and got so much help and so much backing from people to actually get this far is because people have actually notice stuff on this vlog um, so I've noticed stuff you know what I the the lump that I found the other day if I hadn't have been doing this vlog I would never have found that lump which wouldn't have been the catalyst to finding out that I've got numerous other tumors uh, it all in my lymphatic system and other stuff like that so this vlog has actually saved my life now that is, a, that is a cool thing for me to say, this vlog has saved my life. And do you know what? I hope you guys enjoy everything that's going to come. And if I survive all this, uh, all the surgery, all the uh, ins and outs of everything, I am going to make this vlog something that is just astounding. Cinematography that you haven't seen before and things that are beautiful. I'm going to interview people. I am going to help people. I am going to literally give everything back to everyone else. And if you can get on board with me and this passion that I want to give more than anyone in the world and you can understand that, then I hope that we can all go on an awesome ride together. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I'm Dan, not Tom. My nickname Pee Wee Toms. Uh, 
So, yeah, I love you all. Thank you, and see you tomorrow. Boosh!